Creating a wide flange spline. The wide flange spline is located here in the command panel by going to the create tab, going to the shapes, going to extended splines, pull down menu, and then we're going to come over here to wide flange. In the wide flange, we're going to pick with our left mouse button, drag it down, and we're going to create the shape of a closed eye beam. A shape of an eye that's closed in. I let go and now I create the thickness of the eye beam and now I can come down over here into my roles into my parameters and I could set for example the exact width and heights that I wanted perhaps. I could set the thickness of the beam and my corner radius is if I like a corner radius I can set that I'm gonna set it to say well, let's make it one inch so you can see it. All right, so there it is. A little big, but a. Uh, we'll set the 0.5 inches. All right. So you can see now it's got a little bit of radius there. So we're done. We right click, and now we have a wide flange spline, which is really an I beam essentially. So we're going to go up to do that in the create. We're going to go to shapes, extended splines, to our wide flange object type.